Welcome back with Murphy Mac. Today we got a extra special video for y'all because today we're going to take you through my very first bodybuilding show day experience. Man, what a journey it has been so far. But we finally made it and we finally did it and it was well worth it. And I'm so excited to share everything I went through, how I felt, what the day was like, and of course, how I did. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So starting off with the night before the show, we did our check-in at the hotel, went and got our base coat of tan, and then we just basically chilled for the rest of the night. I was kind of nervous at this point. I mean, getting the tan was kind of new. I've never had a tan before, and that was an interesting experience to say the least. But honestly, I wasn't too, too nervous at this point. I was really just kind of relaxing, not doing much, trying to stay off my feet as much as I could. I'm not too nervous, just really, just really focused on hitting my hitting my meals right that day, making sure I was posing, and just doing all the little things to get ready for the big show. Believe it or not, I actually did sleep pretty well before the show. My coach told me to take some Benadryl and some melatonin, but I was a little nervous to take the Benadryl because I've never really taken it before. But I did take some melatonin, and I slept just fine. I think I woke up one time during the night because I had to go use the restroom. But other than that, I slept through the night. So I got some pretty good sleep, which I was pretty excited about because most of the time when I have a big event coming up the next day, you know, you get you get nervous and you can't really sleep very well. So I actually did sleep well, well rested and good to go for the day. So I woke up about 5, 5.30 in the morning because I had to do a check-in with my coach at 5.30. So I woke up, did my first check-in, did a little bit of posing, and then he immediately sent my first meal. So I got my first meal in. So for anybody that's wondering, it was just some some quick carbs. So I think I had some cream of rice, protein powder with that, rice cakes, a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of salt. So at this point, I'm really tracking my salt, tracking my water intake, making sure we're not getting too full. We want to be full, but I don't want to get bloated. We don't want to overdo it before the show. So got the first meal in. Then I had to go get my top layer of my tan. Went, got the tan. And at this point, still pretty calm not nervous just hanging out doing all the things i got to do i was just trying to get mentally ready getting dialed in staying focused on what it was that, that i had to come up that day i was a little nervous by this point but at that point i was more excited than anything just because i had spent so much time preparing and getting ready for this day for this short little time that i get on stage nearly six months of preparation of not eating off my meal plan sticking to my workouts my diet being super strict posing practicing all the little things it was a long drawn out process and today was finally the day so i was i was pumped i was ready i had i had very good vibes going at this point because i was just excited to get out there so we're still chill at this point when i got back to the hotel from get my tan i made sure to double check my bag and make sure i had everything my posing trunks all my food, my meals, my pre pump up meals, things like that, my bands, everything I needed, my number for the show. Double checked all that. And then we headed out to the venue. We had to be at the venue, I think at eight o'clock. So we got there about eight o'clock. And at this point, I thought the nerves would really kick in at this point. We got to the venue, got backstage where everybody was at in, in the competitor's room. But honestly, I, I really wasn't nervous at this point. I, I knew I had put in the work, I had prepared. I was ready. There was nothing I could do at that point to change anything. Like I'd already put in the work. My body is what it is. Like it's gonna look the same regardless at this point. So I really wasn't too nervous at this point. We were just chilling. We had to go to the competitors meeting, listen to them talk about the event, how things were gonna work that day. I was still calm during this point. And we actually had less competitors show up than they had originally planned for. So it was actually kind of a smaller show. So with that being said, Everything happened super fast, back to back. They ran us through very efficiently. Luckily, we had already checked in the day before, so we didn't have to check in and do all that stuff the day of the show. So after the competitors meeting, we just sat there in the room and just chilled until it's time for us to go on stage. Well, that being said, the women were supposed to go before us. It ended up not being very many women. So we quickly went backstage and got ready to get pumped up. Well, this being said, I didn't have time to get my pre pump up meal in. So I didn't eat anything before. I think I had one rice cake with a little bit of peanut butter on, on it that I just shoved down my throat real quick just to have something in my body. 
I didn't really get in the meal before. Went backstage. They had a put a glaze on us, so another little layer for the spray tan. Literally right after the glaze, I did a quick little band pump up, and then we we went on stage. So while we were doing our our band warm up, waiting on the women to go, I still felt calm at this point. I was running through my routine, running through my poses, doing some quick bands and some push ups, things like that, trying to get a pump up. But like, I didn't have any time. Like, normally you would want a good like 30 minutes. No, like I had maybe five to ten minutes. Like it was, it was maybe ten minutes. But, yeah, I was just trying to stay focused, keep my mind on what I was supposed to be prepared for. At this point, there was nothing I could do about my physique, but I was super satisfied with my physique, with the package that I brought to the table, especially being my very first show and being natural. I was pretty, I was very satisfied. I don't know exactly what my body fat percentage was, but I would say I was single digits for sure. Not exactly sure, but I mean, that, at the end of the day, that don't really matter very much. I was happy with the package I brought. I know I worked my butt off to get there to where I was. And honestly, I don't think there was, there's much more I could have done. I mean, I, I was doing cardio twice a day, working out every day. You know, I, I didn't cheat on my meal plan. I was doing what I had to do. I mean, the only thing I could have done was maybe prepare a little bit longer. I was happy with the package that I brought. So no complaints there. And honestly, I had never been this lean in my life. So I was super satisfied with my physique. I looked good in my opinion. Like I was. I was shredded for my normal physique. I was way more lean than I normally am, so can't complain. I'm happy with it. But like I said, we didn't have much time to pump up. So I didn't really get to feel my muscles all the way out. I didn't get a bunch of blood pumped through the muscles, so I didn't really feel full out there on stage, especially with no meal in me and no really pump up in me. They call us over there to line up backstage before we go on. And guess what? I'm the first one that's going on stage. I know, I, I was, when I found out I was going first, this is when the nerves kicked in. Like my heart started pounding. I was, it was pumping out of my chest and I don't know why, like I was like, no one getting nervous, just it's okay to be nervous. But for some reason, right before I went on stage, I started freaking panicking, you know? Especially cause I've never, I've never been up on stage with like spotlights or something like that, where I'm the only one on stage. Literally, you're the only one. Everybody in that crowd is looking at you. Like literally you are the center point of focus. So. That was pretty nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, with it being my first show and being the first person, I honestly didn't know what to like, didn't know what to do. I mean, yeah, I knew what to do in my head, but once you get up there and the lights shining in your face and everybody's staring at you, you're like, uh oh, what do I do? But luckily, nothing happened. I killed it. I uh, did all my poses correctly. And I mean, at that point, under those lights, I mean, everything just clicked. Like, the judge started saying, doing my quarter turns, went through it. No problem. It, it was like just like I practiced. I mean, no reason to be nervous. It was exactly what I've been doing for months now at this point. So everything just clicked and it went it went well. At that point, it was all about just portraying my physique, showing the judges what I had worked so hard for. And honestly, with no food in my system, posing was hard. Like I, I couldn't hold my legs. At this point, like you're so dehydrated, no energy at this point on stage. I mean, at this point you have no energy dehydrated not a lot of calories in you and i didn't get to pump up so i didn't have no carbs in me so when it came to posing i couldn't really hold the posing in my legs my upper body i felt fine I felt good with that but my lower body for some reason in my quad i just i couldn't hold it my, my muscles just didn't have anything to hold it was weird I, every every time i practiced posing i didn't really have that problem but when i got on stage with every all the lights on me you know nerves going i could definitely feel I was losing the definition of my legs because I couldn't hold the pose. Like literally, I was just standing there because I couldn't hold my legs because I, I had nothing left in the tank at that point. So it was a lot harder than I had expected when I got on stage. But I mean, that's okay. We still did good. I'm, I'm happy with the package I brought, and I was lean, so like my legs still looked good even though I couldn't hold them as much. I mean, they were still lean, so it is what it is. Either way, I was proud of my physique. I mean, yeah, I was comparing myself to everybody there because obviously that's who you're going against. And I felt pretty good about it, but it is what it is. My genetics are what they are. And I can work with what I got. Since there wasn't a lot of competitors there and they were rushing us through pretty quick, I did three different classes. So I literally went on the stage, posed, came off. There was one class. I went back on, posed again. And then this time when I came off, I turned around and went immediately back on stage. So I posed basically three, three classes back to back to back. Honestly, I think I got better as I went because I, I felt more comfortable. Nerves were common and it went pretty well after that. So 
first one was definitely probably the worst, and it got better as I went. So that was prejudging. It went by, honestly, I was done with prejudging. By the time I got there, I was done in like 30 minutes because they had brushed us through so quick. I mean, they, they were fishing with it, so I give them props to that. And then after prejudging, since I got done so early, I decided to stick around and watch the rest of the show. So I actually went out to the audience and sat down with my family. So shout out to the fam. Sat down with them, watched watch the rest of prejudging. So we watched the other men's physique, bodybuilding, and all the women's classes. Then after that, went back to the hotel room, got another meal in. At this point, my coach told me I could get a Chick-fil-A grilled chicken club. And oh my God, it was so good. It was probably the best chicken sandwich I ever had in my life. And, then, and he let me get the fries. This was the first French fries I'd had in six months. So like they were delicious and they were hot. They were so good. Yeah, I got a meal in me, did a check-in with my coach. And then went back and took a nap. Finals didn't start till 4 p.m., so there were several hours in between that I had to waste. So I went and put my feet up, took a nap, probably like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then got up and just chilled after that. Had to be back at the venue. Had to be back at the venue at 3. Got there, and again, everything went super quick. Called us back for finals. We, I ran through my routine one time, and then it came time for the results. So I competed in three classes. True novice, class A, novice class A, and open class B. So I ended up taking first place in true novice class A. I took first place in novice class A. And then I took second place in open class B. Well, since I was first in the novice class, I got to compete in the overall comparison for, with the other novice class. And I ended up winning first place overall in novice. So that was big for me. That was a big win, especially being my first first show i was very excited about that very happy that i got the first place and i'll say i'm very happy with the second place in open two because i was going to get some, some pretty good competitors and the guy that beat me i mean he beat me hands down there was no question about it there's nothing i could have done better to actually win first place so i was happy with it it was a huge accomplishment just to be there and compete and be around all the other competitors and to place on top of that it just made it that much more special too so looking back on this whole experience it was life-changing Really, it was challenging, not only mentally, physically, emotionally, but also at the same time, it was incredibly rewarding. It was probably one of the hardest times that I never want to do again. <laughs> I learned so much about myself. I created so much discipline during this time. It's unreal. Competing has definitely given me a new level of respect for anybody that decides they're going to step on that stage because it's a whole different level of commitment it takes a very special person to be able to go through a proper prep and get on stage because it is very very hard it's not something that any normal person could do stepping on stage was a big achievement for me and i can't wait to keep pushing myself even more to improve with that being said there are a few things i would do differently next time i've learned that posing is something that you simply cannot practice enough when you think you've practiced enough you should pose again, do it again every day, like literally every single day. Not even, don't wait until a month out, start posing several months out and do it even more because you could have the greatest physique ever, but if you can't show that physique off correctly to the judges, then it's pointless. Like they're not gonna be able to see it. There's there's a art to posing. So you gotta practice and get better at it. And it's a skill, like you definitely can get better at it. You're not just born with or, with or without it. You can practice it and get better. I didn't realize how hard posing was going to the show. Literally, posing was like my least favorite thing to do because it was so hard. You, I would work out, do cardio twice a day, and then still have to pose after that. Oh, it was miserable. When you have no energy, you're in a bad mood, no food, it was tough. So posing is something that you definitely got to practice more. I would do that differently. Another thing is, I think I could fine tune my conditioning just a little bit. I think I could come in a little more lean than what I would. Yeah, I would have to diet harder and do more cardio. And it'd probably be even worse, but I do think I could be a little more lean. Now, it is hard to get leaner naturally uh, without losing a bunch of muscle. So I think my coach didn't want me to lose too much weight because he didn't want me to lose any size. I'm already not on the bigger side of things, kind of on the smaller side of things. So if I would have went any lower with my weight, I probably would have lost some muscle. So that's probably why we were where we're at. But yeah, I would have liked to have been like 1%, 2% leaner. But overall, I'm proud with the package that I brought, especially in my first competition. I'm super proud with it. And 
it was honestly more than what I expected. And honestly, I'll probably never be that lean again in my life. <laughs> but it was worth getting that lean just at least one time just to see what I was capable of, what my body was capable of, and how I looked on stage. So you may ask, what's next? Well, I can tell you one thing. A bodybuilding show is not next. And it probably won't ever happen again. Don't get me wrong, it was a great experience. And I loved it and I would trade it for anything. And I would not go back and redo it. Like I would always I would still do it no matter what. But it's not something that I see myself continue doing. It was it was really hard. Parts of it sucked. I felt terrible most of the time in a bad mood. Like there's a lot of positives that come from bodybuilding, but there's also a lot of negatives. And I just for me personally, I don't think the negatives are worth it. So mad respect to all the bodybuilders out there because they going through some straight struggles, some pure struggles. So if you ever see somebody on a bodybuilding prep, just just let them do their own thing. Don't bother them because they struggle, I can promise you. <laughs> it was rough. I don't really I don't plan on get, getting back on stage again. But with that being said, I know I like to do a bucket list of things. So we're going to do something. Probably going to be more endurance based for sure. I got a few things in mind. So y'all have to stay tuned in to see what's coming next. But for anyone who's watching this and you're thinking about competing, I say go for it. Do it at least once. Try it and give it your all because you never know if you like something if you don't do it. It may be for you. You may be somebody that enjoys it, that likes it, that likes the challenge, that's up for like pushing yourself, going through the hard times to get that reward at the end. And that may be for you. So I would try it at least once. You never... You always hear the people say, don't knock it until you try. Well, that's a fact. I, I want to try. I may have liked it. I may not have liked it. Just like I tried Iron Man, and I actually really liked the Iron Man. So I probably will be doing another one in the future. So if you want to do one, go do it. But gotta you got to go all in. Give it 100%. And don't cheat yourself because you're going to be disappointed when you get on stage. The process is definitely going to test you. But the reward at the end is unbeatable. So go all in. Do it give it your best and you won't regret it so i gotta give some big shout outs and thank yous to a few people because without them none of this would have ever been possible first off i want to thank my coaches daniel and jason i had a bodybuilding coach and a posing coach and they both helped me tremendously like without them honestly there's no way i could have got on stage because one i wouldn't have been lean enough and two i would have had no clue how to pose because i had never done any posing before so I learned a lot through my coaches. Shout out to them. Thank you. Y'all helped me tremendously. Also, I got to thank my family. They always show up and show out and come and support me when I do crazy challenges like this. Big shout out to my friends and any of you guys that have supported me along the way. I've got tons of messages supporting me and congratulating me along the way. So that's been greatly appreciated. And if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't have made it this far. But most importantly, I got to give a big shout out to my wife because she has had to put up with me for the past six months. She's been there to support me, push me, hold me accountable, complain a little bit, but <laughs> she's been there for me the whole time. So a big shout out to her because without her, I couldn't have got it done. But yeah, thank you to everyone that had any role in, in me stepping on stage. It's been greatly appreciated. Y'all have all kept me motivated, kept me focused throughout this hard, difficult time. So every little thing helps along the way. So all the extra support really, really helps along the way. And that's a wrap on my show day recap. I hope you all enjoyed hearing about my experience. And if you have any questions about competing or bodybuilding in general, make sure you drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful or inspiring. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because I got more content coming your way. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, protein. We'll see y'all in the next video. Oh yeah, and YouTube thinks you'll like this video right here. So go ahead and click it.